today. From Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis, this is Madden NFL 21 on EA Sports. see Philip Rivers and the Indianapolis Colts taking on Gardner Minshew and the Jacksonville Jaguars. We are pleased as always to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Just as we were ready for air, it was the Colts emerging from the locker room to great fanfare here in Indy. They're ready to go as the Colts get set to match up with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Soil Stadium taken in at the three. And he returns this to the 22. The Jaguars ready to go offensively for the first time with Gardner Minshew, former six-round pick at QB. I know that people like him, and he's kind of a phenomenon in the league as Gardner Minshew, but I'm not sure he gets enough credit for how well he plays the game of football at the quarterback spot. Remember, he was a six-round pick, and a surprise six-round pick at that. More than held his own as a rookie after Nick Foles' broken clavicle, forced him onto the field in the second quarter of week one. The Jaguars went 6-6 six and six with him as a starter in 12 opportunities. Now they've got a chance to continue to progress and move forward with Gardner Minshew leading their team. Now Minshew on first and 10. They've got his man complete in 10. Out of the gun is Minshew. Brought in here by Tyler Eifert. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down. Minshew sets to throw. The Colts D stick in the left hash. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle, down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Out comes the Indy offense for their first drive of the game and leading him out. Their new quarterback for 2020, the longtime Charger, Phillip Rivers. I don't know what it is, Parker, but every time I watch Phillip Rivers play, I just have a big grin on my face because he plays the game with such joy. Loves being out there. Remember, he's part of that great 2004 class with Eli Manning and Ben Roethlisberger, two of them still in the league today. Now he's probably going to go over 60,000 passing yards and 400 touchdowns this season. The big question mark, how much does he have left in the tank? I think he's got plenty. They'll start with the option. And he got blown up on that play. Back at, that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Rivers. That's complete to Jack Doyle, the tight end. And he'll go out and... From the 35 on second down, Rivers. It's complete here to T.Y. Hilton. Here's Hines. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. From the shotgun, it's Rivers. On the right side, it's Hilton with a catch. From the gun, Rivers. And he takes this one in for a close touchdown. Touchdown, and the Colts. And this is up and good to make it seven from Colts territory. Here's a first and 10 at the 43. From the gun, Minshew to throw. Connection made with Chanel. 
And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. Another big hitter lead so far, but they need another stop here on third and goal. Here's Minshew. Got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Jaguars. Tyler Eifert. <laughs> It's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. So that drive goes eight plays, and it results in a touchdown for Jacksonville. Turnover battle going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. And he'll find Pittman. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to get guys on the defense side of the ball right now. But you make your own defense happy. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown. at 14-10. A good drive that time. Now Minshew. Short pass. Eifert on the receiving end. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 15 yards. And if you're in four down territory, that really opens things up for you. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought Let's down at the Come 42. On. Two for three thus far. This is third and four. to throw. Field goal would have been a decent length at 55 yards. They keep the kicking unit on the sideline. They're going for it. And brought down, but not before they're inside the door. Now they deal with a second and six. A man coming up back-to-back 2,000-yard -back seasons. Here's Jonathan Taylor with it. Rivers now. He's got Jack Doyle. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Jack Doyle. He's... It's good, and it's 21-10. So that drive in total eight plays. And the gadget play gets him into the end zone. two down instead of one, so the transition's a little bit less. In this case, though, wasn't able to complete it anyway. Minshew with a throw caught by Eifert, the tight end. And he is out of bounds. Again, Minshew looking to throw. That is caught at the seven. And the figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Now he'll escape, to, and they're into the end zone, but it's not verified yet. Hold on, there is a flag down. So erase the red zone score. They'll have to dial that one up again. And you know how difficult it is. Attempt. This will be a 34-yard attempt. Rosas' kick is good. And that'll make this. Second half, ready to get underway. The Colts with a lead, and they will receive the football. Rodgers on the return. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. First and 10 at their own. Out come the Colts. They'll have it first here to start quarter number three. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters, as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. Looking deep for him. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. All the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Now Rivers. A good throw here, finding Pascal. can ship on for the PAT. And the lead is 
up to 15 now. Pretty clean and simple there. Just two plays, the long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. From the gun, Minshew to throw. And he'll let this one go deep for Chark. A really tight ship. What's going on here? Just like that incomplete pass, I'm going to try to tighten things up here for this next play. This goes out right to Doyle. And they move this all the way down to the nine. To the 11, and here's second and goal. From the gun, Rivers. That ball is caught. It's Doyle for touchdown, Coates. Another one through to extend the lead. Five plays there on that drive. Doing a defensive player in another zone. Here's Minshew. Able to complete this to Chanel. And he will have a Jaguars first down by about. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. Connection made with Chanel. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. A throw down the field, caught by his running back. And they'll get him to the ground. He has nothing happen. I think they know that. They're going for it on fourth. They'll run for it with Robinson. And I don't think he got it there. Play fake. Rivers. Looking deep for Hilton. He's got a man. Complete. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. From the shotgun, it's Rivers. That's into the hands of Pascal. A good parts. From the gun, Rivers. This will be caught just inside the 10. And the Colts are going to have a To the air again here, Rivers. Toward the pylon, caught. And he'll get into the end zone for a touchdown in Indianapolis. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Colts add on to their lead. And that'll push the lead up to 29 now. CD, it seemed like they were so focused on the guys out wide, they forgot about him out of the backfield. That's a really good point because you've got to communicate, and oftentimes when you start counting receivers, that's exactly what you're doing. You start from the... Now factoring in the face mask, here's first and 10. Out of the gun is Minshew. Complete to the right side, it's Eifert. For eight, they're up against a third and one situation. Meanwhile, this one, they'll try and run for it. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. Much so, and it's been that kind of game for him. They've had him on the run, had him off balance. He's got to find a way to make some big-time throws down the stretch. And finding Keelan Cole, and he'll be out of bounds about a half to a... From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. And that'll cut the lead down to 22. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it's capped off by a touchdown run. And outstanding. Seven first downs and eight tries. This is third and 11. And to give this time to the tailback. And a nice. Here's Minshew. And he comes back. He's on third down. They're right at about the league average, 40%, 4 for 10. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Darius Leonard, the linebacker. And a big turnover there. He's on third down. Can't fault these numbers. Seven for nine thus far. This will be third and five. 
They stay on the ground. Again, it's Hines. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. This to a third and three. Minshew sets to throw. And Eifert has it. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the field here. Because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. Now Minshew. He's going to loft it deep right sideline. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Able to complete this to Chanel. Completions, they don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on fourth. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. He's going to go up top for the end zone. And this is going to be it. The football need a score, but they can't be so aggressive as to give up their edge, their gaps, and have the offense hit them with a big play. They'll keep it on the ground. Hines, and he won't be close to a first down as he runs into it. The logic in this, but we'll get a stoppage anyway with five seconds remaining. One final shot. They'll look to throw. Going to get his feet down. No, it's incomplete. A big offensive explosion helped leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Colts are winners as we say so long from Indianapolis.